Oh baby, oh baby, hey yo my friends and welcome back, welcome, welcome back, jeez guys, oh my god, I struggle with that thing, but we are back in Tromsø where we landed last time guys, no change, uh, apart from an upgraded PC, finally we'll be able to do some <coughs> nice and smooth stream like we used to do before, so uh, thank you guys for waiting and I really do apologize for this, uh, so welcome aboard guys, welcome aboard everyone, thanks so, so much for joining for today's stream, so we've got uh, Luca, bienvenue à toi, Ghostwire115, welcome aboard man, Bayern Mannschaft, bienvenue à toi, merci beaucoup, Casio, bienvenue à toi, Air Canada, YouTube, welcome aboard man, and Captain K Peterkins, welcome aboard guys, uh, really really do appreciate it guys, we're back with the Zebo 737-800 at Tromsø Airport, we've got that beautiful scenery there, and we will be today flying to Stockholm, our lander, with uh, self-loading cargo, special Norwegian cabin sound there, and uh, of course, guys, I animated the uh, back stairway there because, of course, the gate doesn't connect because it's a stupid gate. Um, well, there we go. We've got the chocks on. We've got the um, uh, the catching, loading, and the loaders as well. Et Nox, bienvenue à toi. Oui, merci. Ça va très très bien. Merci. All right, guys. Let's not waste any time and jump in the cockpit of the uh, Norwegian 737-800. Let's go up there, main panel. Let's sit on the GPU, coming to the on position. Uh, main battery coming on. Where are the sounds? Low sounds. Sounds is lost, guys. Uh, guys, we have no sounds. Uh, going to nav mode. Where, where are the sounds, guys? Give me two seconds there. Uh, I cannot hear these sounds. Give me two seconds. Did I screw this audio as well? What did I do with the sounds? Oh, rip. That's a big rip, guys. What did I do with the uh, with the sound? Okay, guys, we have no sounds for some reason. Uh, that's a beautiful start. Uh, beautiful, beautiful start uh, for some reason. Absolutely no, sta uh, no sounds. Uh, have a bit no clue what is that on about. Uh, where can we get the sounds back there, guys? Uh, if we cut the sound like this and put it back, is it going to change something? Uh, absolutely nothing. Let me go there on sound and maybe enable the sound. That will be pretty helpful. There we go, guys. That's uh, just like this that you have to do it. Uh, expiation, walk on board. My, uh, my stupidity is back, guys. Uh, we'll put the trimmer to the on position, guys. We will go ahead and test the flaps and uh, go ahead and do the test on the flight recorder quickly there and set up the aircraft. We can close the sound there. Yeah, we just had to enable the sound on uh, the... Um, in the menu actually, even though I have this plugin, sometimes it just acts weirdly. Uh, thank God, so you don't have to reload the aircraft, that's a good thing. Uh, so guys, we will do our departure quickly, there we are departing out of Tromso, ENTC, as we uh, left last time. Uh, we'll copy and paste the RS position, and we will go up to, I mean down to Stockholm Arlanda. And we actually have uh, ATC all over there, so that's pretty good. Uh, flight number is DY, so that is the uh, yacht code for North Shuttle uh, 377. And uh, if we check the weather condition, guys, for uh, Tromso, uh, we will be taken off from uh, runway, uh, it will actually be runway uh, 1, what runway is it, guys? I forgot the runway as well, guys, for departure, we're going to need to go to airport there and actually check out the airport. Ah, bah, bien sûr, j'ai un nouveau truc, uh, Neox. <laughs> Je l'ai dit. Uh, okay, so 18136, guys. So winds are 020 at 10, guys. So that will be a departure of runway 36 because 020 will be closing at 36. So it's going to be actually runway 01 or 02. It's called the yeah, 36, I believe. There we go, 36. Uh, what we can do is actually go on the tablet and uh, do some uh, fuel weights and balance there. We'll go on the payload and we will start to do the payload. Payload will be actually up to. Um, 18.6, that's basically what we're looking at, a total payload of 18.6. There we go, aircraft moving a little bit normal, we just loaded it. Uh, the zero fuel weight is, normally should be between 60.3 and between 62.7. So we'll uh, put the fuels to 7.6 and check if that's perfect. And we just need to call the fuel chug there. Why? Because our actual fuel, it says 3,292 uh, and we're looking to have 7,600 so when you have this guys on the Zebo 737 uh, you need to call the fuel truck for it to actually load the um, the plane with the fuel so guys, we're not going to waste any time uh, we're actually going to do our flight plan uh, until the plane loads so it's going to be a departure out of runway 36 via the Tulda to Alpha departure, the last one we'll go on route, uh, next page uh, from Tulda, uh, we will go direct to Rixem. It's going to be uh, proceeding direct right there. 
uh, from Wrexham, guys, we are going to go f uh, to Papa 853. Papa, uh, sorry, Papa 583. Uh, eight five. No, I I said it, but you know, I still didn't put it in mind. I don't know why. And we'll take that to Novri actually. Even though I said it, I said something else after. That's weird. Uh, Novri Tango three one seven, Tango three one seven, and uh, we will be heading that to uh, Kringles. Welcome aboard, man. Uh, you're flying from the motherland. I see. Absolutely, man. Beautiful, beautiful places. I mean, Scandinavia, man. It's just unbeatable in uh, the beauty of. Uh, of this this part of uh, the world, Scandinavia is absolutely beautiful. From Tango 318, we'll proceed to Cyprian. Welcome aboard, Kringles. Thanks so much for joining, man. I hope you're well. From Cypri, we're looking to go to November 5, and we'll take that to HMR. I'm not sure what the name of this VR NDB is. I'm gonna have to, to check that up. Non mais Lucas, t'inquiète pas, t'es pas obligé de dire bienvenue à tout le monde. Y a pas de souci, tu dis bienvenue une fois, mais t'inquiète, Lucas, vraiment c'est c'est parfait. And guys, for the moment, we'll activate Execute. We'll look into our rival later, because uh, we're not sure about the win yet. So we'll check that later. Uh, what we'll do is actually do some uh, S-Speed winning. We already did it, I think. Uh, we can do the store warning test. Okay, number one checked. Number two checked. We'll go down there to proceed to some engine fire test, actually. There we go, that's checked. We'll do the APU test as well. Green light checked. We'll go do the cargo smoke as well. Instead, there's a fire in the cargo lot. There we go. That is checked. We can bright the panel as well. And uh, guys, I think we are pretty much ready to do the perfs now. If uh, the thing is loaded, that will be good. Okay, guys, we just need uh, to wait just a little bit more there. Guys, we'll, what we'll do is we're actually uh, ready for boarding as we are using self-loaded cargo. Oh, oh my God. You can open the doors and start letting the Cunt. Oh, my God. That rate my ears. That was air rape, guys. Oh, no my God. Orlando Vieta, Captain Florida, Jason, welcome aboard, man. How are you doing? Thanks so, so much for tuning in, man. I hope you're doing well as well, man. I hope you're doing well. Uh, there we go, guys. So the plane is loading with self-loading cargo. I believe I can put uh, I can put the overlay, there, the self-loading cargo overlay. And it, is it already in? I'm not sure if it is. Or oh, I need to put it down the thing. Is it going to be... Be on or what? Uh, should I need to, um... Yeah, I think I need to put it again, guys, the self-loading cargo page. Uh, there we go, friends. We have the self-loading cargo. That's, that appears right there for you. Uh, so that's basically what we are doing with this plugin, of course. How was the E320 real simulator cockpit? That was amazing, guys, and I will release the video, uh, the premiere this weekend, even if it wasn't very good filming. It's, it's cool, guys. I'll just release uh, that video right there. Uh, this weekend, so we can have a quick laugh there, because <laughs> that was actually fun. Uh, we'll put this on battery and then on ground power to see if we actually have power with the ground power. So this is checked. We'll go ahead and put the Windows E to the on position, and uh, we'll go put our altitude to 36,000. That will be our top cruising altitude for today, 36,000 feet. There we go. Uh, we'll arm the emergency exit lights before we forget. Uh, we'll put the no smoking on the on position and the fasten seatbelts on the automatic position as the flight attendant will take care of that. Uh, we are currently waiting until 122 passengers remaining. As you can see, guys, top left, uh, it tells us uh, how many passengers are satisfied, how many, the percentage of satisfied passengers and uh, the numbers of passengers remaining. Seated, on board and secured. So there's only one guy that's smart there for the moment. Uh, they're probably putting their luggage in the upright position, but we'll just need to wait or we can just do a quick boarding And that's what we'll probably do uh, If the plane is loaded right now because we're still waiting for the fuel to load and uh, something quite funny there guys when we load the fuel We've got this guy there. He thinks he's the king of the world like bro You're just putting some fuel to an aircraft. Don't don't do this position like you're, you're the king of the world man like jeez, man You know, I should be doing this. I'm in the cockpit. <laughs> oh guys, this is new Guys, the Zebo version 3.42, I swear before there weren't pilots in the cockpit. There weren't pilots in the cockpit, that is for sure, guys. So we've got a new version of the Zebo 737 that I just, just got there. And of course, the beautiful Norwegian livery, that is also a beautiful livery. And you've got this, this guy with, jeez, man, just bragging about his job. Okay, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, oh, it's actually animated as well, guys. Even if it's 2D, it's actually, you know, pretty well animated to be... Well, that's a rip, uh, because, okay, it just loaded in, that's why. <laughs> so we'll do a request on the gross weight, and uh, we'll be carrying 
8.1 tons of reserve. The cost tendix will go up to 8 for this flight and our cruising level will be 360. Uh, we'll go there and execute that up. Uh, the winds, guys, at our top of cruise will be 341 degrees at 18 knots. So we shouldn't be having too much wind there. And the ice and deviation is going to go up to minus 52. There we go. Transition level is uh, 7,000 feet. This is checked. So we'll just request on the temperature, which is 21 degrees. We will be doing a full takeoff as it is a... Uh, kind of a small runway so we're not going to take any risk we will actually be taking off flaps um i think flaps five should do it we, we, we yeah we don't need to take off i oh, know actually guys you know what we'll be taking off flaps 15 uh, with a v1 virotate v2 there we go we'll request the cargo and the trim uh so the trim will be set to 3.25 so make sure to set that up here we go so four and we'll make sure to set that to 325 for departure Okay, for some reason it doesn't do it like this. There you go, 325. That should be somewhere near this. 325 is set. Uh, V2, we said 146. 146 plus 15 uh, will give us 161 on our departure speed. So 161 knots. There we go, that is checked. Uh, we'll reset the master caution and we'll put our fuel pump to the on position and go ahead and fire up our beautiful APU there. Low oil pressure, release, and starting the APU. There we go, friends. Uh, I'm not sure if we do an outside view, if it's actually going to, uh, to we're actually going to hear the sound there, of the APU. Because I'm not sure, I never really heard it on the, um, oh yeah, I forgot Nightbot, oh rip, Nightbot, yep. I completely forgot about Nightbot there, yeah, we can hear the APU sound guys, there we go. APU gently started there, on this Norwegian King. APU is starting. I think it's started as well. There we go. Uh, it's going back down a little bit, the uh, temperature. And we'll be putting the APU gen in a minute and check self-loading cargo. We have 81 passengers remaining on board. Uh, I think we are going to uh, do a quick boarding. And uh, Noah, welcome aboard, Noah, man. Really, really do appreciate you joining. How are you doing? I mean, I already said hello to you on Avioman's stream, but, you know, welcome to my stream, man. Thanks so much for joining. AP Gen coming on. Hello, just stopping by. Congrats on 400 sub. Thank you so, so much, uh, Alaska559. And talking about that, we will do a special flight this weekend as well, guys. You're not going to believe what we're actually going to do, but that's going to be pretty intense. But thank you, Alaska, for joining, man. And welcome aboard, man. Uh, thanks so, so much. Uh, guys, we could disc ground power is disconnected, so that is perfect. Ground power disconnected. Uh, what we can do is we will do a quick boarding for the passengers there to come. And what we can do is actually get rid of the ground services. First of all, we'll get rid of the, oh, we'll get rid of the cage rings and uh, the baggage loaders, and we'll be uh, closing the doors except for the after entry, just in case. There we go. Okay, these are disconnecting. After entry, boom, 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 boom. Closing all the doors. There we go. Cargos are closing, caterings are going up, there we go, see you later man. And uh, let's do a little wing view there as well, and enjoy this beautiful, wow man, Trump so guys, I need to I need to show you quickly this scenery, because uh, thanks to Captain Van Trezor, as he uh, gave me his SFD Global, because I completely lost it after I reinstalled X-Plane, and thanks to him guys, we're having some amazing graphics tonight, we're having some Author for XP plus SFD Global, Plus the beautiful Tromso scenery, that's payware, and it's coming with these beautiful mountains. What is this sound, guys? What is this sound? Oh, okay, that was the, the boarding. We have 62 passengers remaining, guys. As you may have realized, we're not going to do this. Uh, we're just going to do right-click on this and do, are you sure you want to board all passengers? We'll click on the yes position. There we go. And passengers are loaded. There we go. They are securing right now. We will go ahead and get ready to close the doors. Uh, we need to close the doors in 10 seconds, as it says on the uh, top left position. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's close it. There we go. Doors are closed. We'll get rid of the music, guys, and we have a special Norwegian announcement as well. So uh, here we go. Let's put the beacon lights there, guys. Uh, get rid of the uh, last... Beacon lights coming on. We'll uh, go ahead and call for pushback. Hey, so we said, uh, uh, no, it's not this way. We'll be taking the other runway for departure, runway 36, as the winds are in favor of this runway. Great news, Captain. There Your we go. Coming. So we'll request the pushback right there. That was was planned on the uh, 
on uh, the flight plan as well. Uh, so this is basically done. We can remove the chocks and uh, the pushback is coming right there. Uh, make sure uh, everything is now off. It's Everything is disconnected on ground handling so we can hide them all. And uh, guys, enjoyed this departure out of... Uh, Stock uh, out of Tromso actually, and we'll be heading to Stockholm, Arlanda. And uh, when I landed before, I had 60 to 70 FPS, so that is quite amazing. Uh, what we can get with that, uh, with the specs I have, guys. And I think I did on night, but the um, the specs fly Norwegian Air Shuttle in Norway with the Argentina domestic livery. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> How did you realize that was the Argentina domestic livery? What does it say? It. How did you realize that quick goals? Does it say it somewhere? That is the, uh, the Argentina thing livery. <laughs> Alright, the toe is connecting, guys. Toe is connecting right now. But yeah, that's basically yeah, the... Uh, that's how it is. It's the uh, Argentina livery. But I don't know what, what, what is that livery, to be fair. Uh, I'm not sure what was the point of that livery. Because, you know, for, for me it's just a normal Norwegian thing. So if you have any explanation to this. Okay, so we'll just go on Avitab quickly. Just to get the heading of the runway. It's going to be 005. There we go. We'll put the course to 005 for the departure heading. Welcome and of course this one as well. Toast connected. Bypass pens inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. And uh, we can release the parking brake. Put the AP bleed to the on position. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. And uh, put the valve on automatic. And go ahead and start engine number two, guys. I think we are ready to start engine number two. Make sure we have power on the APU. Yep, we do. So, guys, put the number two engine on ground position. N2 power is set for departure. I mean, for engine start. We're going to wait until 20%. That's what we're probably going to do. And we getting to 20. Perfect. Engine number two is starting, guys. Number two. And Timo, welcome aboard, Timo. Thanks so, so much for joining, man. How are you doing? Welcome aboard on this flight. And normally we should have the... Uh... Oh, I know. Well, we're not getting the... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Voices enable. Oh, there we go, guys. That scared me. <laughs> guys, listen to these beautiful Norwegian announcements in Norwegian. <laughs> that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be pretty insane. We will now demonstrate our security routines for our flight type Boeing 737-800. Oh my God! How they said Boeing 737-800? I will not be able to say this again. <laughs> Did you guys understand what they said? Boeing hundred. What on earth? I'm not, you know, I'm not making fun of anything. It's just like, wow, man. I, I'm fine. Thanks so much, Timo, man. I'm, I'm fine, man. Thanks so much. It's been a long time. I haven't been streaming. And I think there's no announcement in English. Yeah, there is actually. There are some announcements in English at the end. So that is, uh, it's pretty legit, yeah. That, yeah, talking about the oxygen thing apparently there. Uh, so guys, engine number two uh, is started. We can go ahead and fire up engine number one. And two power set. Yeah, that is legit. That was quite amazing to be fair. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking, I'm not talking. <laughs> These are the main doors, I mean, I think he's probably... I can understand a little bit, it's pretty similar to English, is it? And guys, we'll be doing a night landing into Stockholm, I believe, as we're planning real time right now. So it's going to be landing into uh, Stockholm pretty much uh, late. Light landing in Stockholm, and it's Scandinavia, so the lights, uh, go, it goes dark pretty, uh, pretty quickly there, pretty early. As we're playing real time. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Parking brake is set. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. There we go. Nose wheel is going down gently. Are oh, you absolute joke? Are you actually serious? Oh. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, he's got QNH is 1010. Is he going to push back the wrong... Guys, he's pushing back. 
Okay, I mean, if he's pushing, yeah, he's pushing back that way. Guys, we'll just play some realistic thing and wait until he actually... If he doesn't push back on me, that'll be perfect. Um, Captain Kringles, I think they're gonna do the English announcement just after this. And we're disconnected. Yeah, they'll be doing the announcement right there. They'll be doing the announcements uh, in English right after. Because we have, okay, we're just gonna wait until the Scandinavian moves in, so it can taxi behind him, so that makes actually, you know, more legit traffic thing. Taxi lights coming on. Flaps will go to 1, 2, 5 position. 15. Flaps 15. Let's check the beautiful flaps. I'm not sure when they're going to do it in English. Uh, we'll test the spoilers quickly. Okay, checked. There we go. Flaps going to 15 position and he's already... What? <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Oh my god, guys. It was going so well. I th oh, this is, a, this is a pain in the ass, though, guys. Because I thought, you know, I was actually, you know, ready to respect the thing and go behind him, but it actually didn't do it. Uh, generators coming on. Um, make sure we have power on both gens. Yeah, that's a shame. Your damper coming on. Prob Windows E coming on. There we go. Power is generating to both engines. Uh, we'll put the AP bleed to the off position. Packs on automatic. Engine on the continuous and AP to the off position. That is crazy. <laughs> Isham one, welcome man. You're new and you see this, bro. If 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 you just if you're new to this channel, you're ready to see a lot more bullshit that happening. <laughs> Because this is only a start, man. This is only a start. But welcome aboard, Isham. Uh, thanks so much for joining, man. And uh, welcome aboard. Uh, it was actually going so well, guys. Uh, you know, too well to be true. Uh, I, I was actually ready to follow this um, this Scandinavian. But, you know, unfortunately, he decided to turn around for no reason. Very, very weird. Uh, but, you know, not legit at all, of course. <laughs> but he literally flipped around saying, nope. Screw you. Oh man, that actually hurts though, because I was ready to play, you know, some realism thing and wait for him to taxi before me. But welcome to Traffic Global. Yeah, uh, I have absolutely no clue. Uh, absolutely no clue. Ishan, thanks so, so much, man, for your subscription. Welcome aboard, Ishan. Thank you so much, man, for, uh, for subscribing to the channel, man. Really, really do appreciate it. I have my mic in the way there on my. Uh, I can't see shit. There we go. Uh, guys, we'll backtrack the runway, that's what we'll do uh, for departure. We'll cut the throttles, we're going to 21 knots, we need to slow down uh, just a little bit. And we'll go left on Alpha and backtrack the runway and we'll put power, will be uh, thrust power will be 99.0. So that'll be the uh, thrust set, we'll be setting the thrust for a departure. And that's going to be an uh, early evening departure, so uh, ready to see some beautiful landscape. Alright guys, what we'll do, we'll put the landing lights on, runway turn off coming on, and of course we'll go ahead and put the strobe lights to the on position. LNAV checked, VNAV checked, and backtrack is approved, we'll just pretend it's approved. Uh, yeah, you can, Isham. Uh, Luca, uh, laisse les dire fuck au pire et shit. Hein. Fuck et shit, tu peux laisser passer, hein, comme gros moi. Yeah, 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 it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, you can swear a bit. We all do, so, you know. At some point, you know, I s personally swear a lot when I'm angry, so I'm not going to put some rules if I do the same thing, so that makes no sense. So, you know, if I do it, you guys can do it as well, so, you know, you can... Uh, is the announcement 3J Kevin said, no, it's self-loading cargo, uh, Captain Kringles. Uh, we'll t tell them to take the seat for departure, there we go. Captain Kringles, seat for takeoff, please, thank you. There we go, seats for takeoff. And guys, enjoy this beautiful sunset departure out of our beautiful island of Tromsø there in uh, northern Norway. And we'll be contacting Stockholm Control, uh, Sweden Control, I believe it is, uh, when, once we'll be departing. And guys, backtracking the runway. Hope it's going to go well this time. And we'll start to make that slight left and there. Uh, and turn around. That's what a bit annoying with these uh, new run uh, with the uh, short runways is that you know need to backtrack, and that's how it looks. 
Looks pretty sexy though when it turns around. So uh, make sure the people are seated. We have 138 secured. Yeah, because we have 138 packs on board, guys, today. All right, guys, enjoy this departure. Here we go. That's going to be sexy. All the throttles to the unposition, guys. Uh, and who is the idiot calling me right now? I didn't mute my phone. That's a rip. It's fine. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it, guys. Enjoy this departure. I hope you don't hear the... Uh, Stupid phone sound there. Oh, guys, here we go. All right, ready? Forty percent, and and one speed thrust set. Uh, Checked. One, one, rotate. Rotate. Positive Gear up. Al Nav checked. Checked. Faps five. Trim it up a little bit. One thousand. <laughs> Kringles. <laughs> One thousand checked. <laughs> Flaps two. Autopilot one checked. Uh, thing going back to auto. Uh, what do we have to do? Auto brakes to the off position. Gear uh, lock. <laughs> Is that the new Lincoln Park suck? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Reynolds, welcome aboard, man. Flaps is going to the off position. Yeah, Reynolds, thanks so much for joining, man. Just on this departure there out of Trump. So, and guys, I know I usually don't put the autopilots as soon as we depart, but right now it's going to be a tricky departure. We need to turn and I need to do a lot of things, you know, uh, by taking off the auto brakes, locking the gears, and putting the uh, engine uh, back on auto position. So, there you go, guys. And flaps uh, up, guys. What a departure. Sweet. Sweet thing there, guys. Wow, wow, wow. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful departure. And we have, of course, guys, I didn't show you, but I don't think it's the time to show you. Why is there no one on board? Oh, guys, I made a mistake. <gasps> I didn't start the flight leg. I was an idiot. There we go, guys. Here comes the passengers. <laughs> we'll just pretend that we're here the whole time, yeah? There you go. Good to see you. Hey, three. Thanks, 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 uh, Reynolds for joining, man. Yeah, it's been a long time I haven't been streaming here. Uh, first, because first reason my PC was uh, up getting an upgrade. And uh, I went on holidays for two weeks as well, so that that's why you guys didn't see me. Uh, but thanks, guys, for joining again. That really, really appreciate it. Runway turn off coming up to the off position there, guys. And uh, flaps are retracted. Spoilers disarmed. And we'll make this right turn there. And we'll basically turn around the yeah, do a 180 turn around the airport. Si, 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 faut, Lucas. Es pas, après, t'es pas obligé. C'est comme tu veux. C'est quand tu sors de la piste que tu les enlèves. Uh, QNH going on to standard position as we passed our transition altitude, which is 7,000 feet. And I believe, guys, we'll be contacting Stockholm Control. Let me check where they're at. Uh, Stockholm. No, not yet. I think they will tell us when to contact them. Uh, yeah. Uh, initial climb clearance, 5,000 feet. We'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be contacting Stockholm uh, when we'll be going up to, uh, to at least... What is this one saying? Okay, yeah, we didn't hear a thing she said. But I believe the fasten seatbelt signs are uh, off. Uh, nope, not yet. Uh, that will automatically manage there. At 10,000 feet, the fasten seatbelt signs will automatically go to the off position. Uh, that's what it basically does. And right now we're climbing to up to 360. 
and it will be stabilizing at 10,000 like every time. Passengers are happy, 67 satisfied. There you go, 10,000 feet, seatbelt signs are off, and I normally make an announcement saying this, but there you go. Oh, TCAS guys, forgot the TCAS. There we go. TCAS is on, as we're on VATSIM, so we better put our TCAS on. Yeah, so very, very sweet departure. Uh, we can do a little flyby as well, guys. And we'll turn off our landing lights in a second. Oh, sexy. Uh, landing lights coming off, guys, quickly. There we go. Boom, and... Boom, there we go. Sweet. Uh, we have no fuel in center, so no need for the center fuel pumps. Uh, we'll do uh, do a quick check on the overhead panel, see if everything is in place, everything is correctly set. Trimmers are on, the pressurization is set to automatic. Landing altitude, uh, we'll be checking that during cruise. Uh, the cross feed, we didn't, we didn't test the, uh, the cross feed, but it's fine, we don't need it, it was not heavy tonight. Uh, we tested all the thing over there, and we had no warning, nothing. So uh, that is pretty pretty sexy, guys. There, and if we do this uh, little view like this, there of the of the cockpit, because that looks pretty sexy. To be fair, guys, it's looking very sexy as well. This cockpit, the uh, 737 cockpit. I have been streaming for almost six hours and got 55 minutes till I arrive finally. Jeez, man! I uh, saw you flying from my. Was it, were you flying from Miami? Because I actually saw. Uh, where was it? No, not Miami. Was it something else? Oh, no, 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 wait. I think it was JFK, wasn't it? I, I saw JFK or Miami, I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. JFK to Dublin. Oh, yeah, with the 757 Aer Lingus. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good luck, man. Yeah. That'd definitely be a good luck, but geez, man. The graphics, they're absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, it's going to be an interesting flight there as we turn. Yeah, that's Avio. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, yeah I'm confusing. I'm mixing up. And it's on when the giveaway, I didn't see yet. <laughs> if uh, he did the giveaway thing. Oh, Peterkins, I don't know if you're there, but Avio Man is showing your picture. <laughs> Damn it, Peterkins. <laughs> that's not me, that's my twin, Peter Peterkins. <laughs> He's on Avio Man's chat, okay, yeah. That was funny. Yeah, JFK to Dublin, okay, man, yeah, that's what I thought. I knew someone was going to JFK or something like this. Um, so, six, uh, flight level 166 passing now. And yes, so it should be our last turn right there, guys, to join Novri. And then from Novri, it will be an actual straight line until Stockholm or We've got Tunisia Gerald Teddy Bobby Jr. the third. Jesus. Hello, bro. Hello, man. Welcome aboard. And Paul Alex, welcome aboard as well, man. That was a long name. <laughs> and welcome aboard, both of you guys. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining on today, guys, stream. After a long time there. As we are just departed from uh, Tromso and heading to Stockholm, where we'll be doing a night landing. Because from that, now on, guys, I think I'll be doing some real-time uh, flights. That's, you know, that's basically, you know, more legit. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get as, as close, as real as... Uh, as real life as possible, so uh, there we go. A uh, new specs, you just need to put an exclamation, uh, exclamation mark specs, or you can check in the description, but I'll do it. There you go. And welcome back, Isham. Welcome back. Jeez, what I screamed this. I don't know if Nibo's there. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you want to have my new specs, check the description. It will be somewhere in the description. But I need to update Nightbot, guys. I'm not going to do it now because, you know, that's a bit too late. Uh, flight time, guys. If you want to know the flight time, it's 1 hour and 36 minutes. And shit, we didn't start the clock. It's too late. Uh, always forget something. Um, so, yeah, 1 hour 36 minutes for the flight time. And my new specs are an Intel Core i7-9700 KF at 4.8 gigahertz. And an RTX 2070 Super. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a uh, motherboard Z390. These are the new specs, and the winds are pretty legit to be fair. It was supposed to be 341 at uh, 0, 341 at 18, and 
we need to wait until we reach 360 to actually check if uh, it will actually be legit and do the, the exact same thing. Um, what do we have there? Start fuel weight and balance ground. No, ground so there's no need to take care about that, do we? But yeah, guys, might get over the mountain. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful, guys. What are you thinking? Sounds a bit too loud there guys, let me sort that out quickly, there we go. Sounds will go back to the medium position there, I mean really low, because outside we do not really need to have sounds there. Hi brother Gerald Teddy Bobby G, jeez, oh my god, okay. These guys are trolling. <laughs> I also got enough donation money to buy another aircraft, oh that is very cool man, that is very very cool. Yeah, well I'm trying to buy a webcam, I'm trying to buy two webcams actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, right now, when I'm not streaming, I get usually right now between 45 and 50 FPS. I did the flight before, and on my old PC, I used to get 30 FPS all the way. And right now, when I'm streaming, I'm getting, you see, 40 FPS, 35 to 40. So that's absolutely perfect. And when we go over mountain, we always struggle a little bit. And that's, you know, plus we've got SFD Global that literally took away 10 FPS, guys. Take that in mind. I lost 10 FPS with SFD Global. What is going to be this announcement? Oh, the in-flight entertainment. Oh, okay. The, the screen movies are going to come up, guys. Yeah, they, these guys are trolling. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. It did improve. Oh, my God. Moderated by one way. Jesus Christ, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that is a joke. But yeah, anyway guys, it did improve a lot, it did improve a lot, uh, I tested, I did some tests, and uh, really, really amazing now guys, we'll be finally streaming, and guys, for my 400 sub special, which will be this weekend, we are going to be doing a madness that, jeez guys, that no one ever did, I believe, I'm pretty sure no one ever did this. Hey, welcome back, moderated by one way. Yeah, it's, it's going crazy. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah, guys. It's going to be something crazy this weekend. So make sure to be active on the Discord. So to keep, keep yourself updated about the uh, live stream that will be coming this weekend. Uh, plus the premiere of the flight simulator, the A320 flight simulator. Um, so that, that's going to be pretty interest, interesting. We'll have two intense and funny things to do, guys. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. It's going to be a surprise, guys, for the 300, uh, 400 special, sorry. And uh, there you go, guys. And as promised, I will be doing a giveaway when we reach 500 subs. And that w I know I'm taking a long time to do it, but when it will, when we'll actually have 500 subs, I will be doing a big giveaway. See, uh, to thank all of you guys, I'll be doing giving away probably two fifty dollars gift card or three twenty five dollars gift card. I will make a poll on my Discord, guys, and you'll be uh, you'll be able to choose about what uh, we should do for our giveaway. Uh, how many cards do you want? How uh, like yeah. My goal is will be one hundred dollars, um, one hundred dollars or one hundred euros for my uh, for my cards. So we can do this by doing one one hundred dollar giveaway, like a gift card that's costs one hundred dollars, or we can do two fifty dollars gift card, or we can do four twenty five dollars, and that you know that should be pretty legit, I believe. Or what we can do is actually do two only and give a goal to fifty. Actually, that will be not not bad. Because we're at 500 subs, and we want the maximum goal amount to be 50. Uh, so we can do two $25 gift cards, and that's what probably what I'll do. And for the 1,000 special, I will be uh, doing uh, something that can go up to $100. NGF has bad luck at this pin. We oh my god, you guys! I swear, it's either Craig Gulls, either Flight Surgeon. I swear, what a view! Yeah, Gerald. Hello, man. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I always do have bad luck on the spin wheel. They always did though. That day though, was in uh, Orlando Aviator stream, that was crazy. Uh, oh, sorry guys, no music for today. No music for today, uh, we will contact uh, Scandinavian control on 118.4. No, that's Sweden control, that's Scandinavian, there we go. 
Sweden control, very good it is uh, North Shuttle 377 passing, flight level 290 inbound Novri. North Shuttle 377, Sweden, Squawk 5313. Squawk 5313 for North Shuttle 377. 5313. 5313. There we go, identified, set. We'll just put the music a bit later there. What? <laughs> Quiggles. <laughs> I swear, man. Alright, there we go. We contacted ATC. He will give us... I mean, he will identify us first. That should be a good idea. Uh, what should we do with self-loading cargo right now? We have, uh, okay, no turbulence, nothing. And winds are legit, guys. 3 for one and it might go down to 18. Yeah, Kringles, I do have an idea who that is. Thank you for the tip, and Jeff has bad luck at the spin wheel. And thank you very much, Kringles, as well. <laughs> Sweden control, go clearly, and scan 103, flight level 318. Alex Kret, hey, and Jeff, uh, what change in your PC specs? Alex Kret, welcome aboard, man. Uh, yeah. Okay, I thought that was me. Yep, welcome aboard, uh, Alex Kret. So, what change is that? I switched from AMD to Intel. Uh, I got an i7 9700KF at 4.8 gigs and a new motherboard, which is the Z390. And so, we have a, a lot better graphics and FPS. Uh, and we can finally enjoy our stream, guys, uh, like we used to do. Climbing tape level 360, North Shuttle 377. Et Drago, bienvenue à bord, Drago, bienvenue, bienvenue. Hi guys, if you just tuned in today to uh, leave a little like, that would be much appreciated. N'hésitez pas à laisser un petit like, ça ferait vraiment très plaisir. I'm hungry guys, well you can go eat your lunch, tu peux aller, uh, tu peux aller manger Lucas. Hein? <laughs> Personne te l'interdit. There we go. Uh, we'll increase the zoom rate a little bit there. Uh, there we go, there we go. So we have absolutely no idea. There's the top of the sand. Uh, we will actually go on Active Sky and check the weather for arrival. We were planning to do a landing on 19 right. And it says to the top of the sand that we have 417 in North Kumas remaining. So uh, that's that's quite a lot. That should be We should be arriving at the top of the sand. Uh, it's 1935 and it's currently... Uh, 19, yeah, okay, now it's, yeah, one hour and, and two minutes, yeah. This is in Zulu, this is Zulu, so, uh, yep, it's gonna be, uh, in one hour and two minutes. One hour and, uh, and two minutes, guys, there we go. They'll pretty be, uh, our time before top of the send, and who we've got there, we've got, uh, Dinosaur Jesus. Wow, what a name, welcome aboard, man, Dinosaur Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you are all doing well, guys, in chat. Uh, so we'll keep climbing flight level 360 right now. What do you think of MFS from today's content that people made? Uh, I'm actually not sure at all, man. I'm not sure at all. You know, there's a lot of, posi there, there are a lot of positive things, but a lot of negative things as well. That, you know, we're, we're not... Oh, shush. That we're, you know. Yo. Yeah, so we're, I was saying, there's a lot of negative things as well we weren't expecting. You know, we're expecting a lot better than that. That is the problem. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. We're coming anything. There we go, okay. I think like this, the sound should be good. Yeah. Like this, it's not bad, the sound. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think I will probably wait a bit more before pre-ordering it. Uh, you know, I will wait until the game gets released and streamers actually give their opinion on it. Because, uh, you know, I'm not wasting 120... If I buy it, it's going to be the 120 euros uh, ed edition. So I can get all the airports and all the aircraft. So uh, I'm going to wait until uh, people's opinion and uh, then check. That's a good Oh! Is that actually Isham 1? NGF has back look at the spin wheel. That could be. <laughs> I'm going to play more than XP. Absolutely not, man. No, no, no. On XP, on XP11, I've got everything. 
all my aircraft, all my sceneries, all my plugins that I bought, uh, and I've got a lot Great more things. So, uh, no, no, definitely not. I'll definitely keep playing X Plane uh, more often than uh, MFS 2020 if I buy it. Because, you know, it's not really sure right now. And, uh, oh man, that sunset. That sunset looks pretty decent, though. No joke, it actually does look decent. We're getting there. And we've got these beautiful little islands there, as you can see, with water around. That, that, this is just beautiful. Oh, you were in Shamwon. Okay, well, okay. See, I didn't, I didn't believe this because you know, flight surgeon and everyone keeps, they keep trolling me a lot. So you know, <laughs> sometimes you know I get lost a little bit. I'm not sure about it. Uh, we're going Avi tab maps and check quickly where we at. Yeah, okay, we're just right there. We're just departed there. So yeah, it's, we're not too far away from it. It's fine. And uh, is there any? Oh, yeah, I think we'll be staying on Sweden control until the end of this flight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, guys, in Stockholm there is the approach and the tower, guys. There are a lot of ATC in uh, in Stockholm, so that is pretty cool. I hope we will have this ATC for arrival. That should be something cool. If we do get this ATC, we have the approach and the tower connected. Isaac made that beautiful. Wow, guys. Should take a screenshot of this. This is wow, absolutely beautiful though. These clouds, the sunset, and everything. Are we there yet? Yeah, we actually landed, Peterkins. You're late. <laughs> How much storage do you have for Ortho? I have a hard drive, which uh, I know I'm actually gonna buy a hard drive because right now I'm actually using uh, the one on my D drive, which I have expert on it. And uh, I need to buy, I will buy shortly a one terabyte hard drive for my Ortho. I think one terabyte is uh, is enough. So that's what we'll do. There is actually a bit different, um, air kind of YouTube because you can. Oh, shut your mouth. Uh, there is a difference actually, air kind of YouTube because uh, I tested it. And the first of all, the i7 you can overclock it up to 4.9 gigahertz, and the Ryzen you can only overclock it to 4.4. Plus, uh, I got a new motherboard, uh, the Z390, which is a decent motherboard, and helps before. I mean, the performance improved a lot. And I realized the test, man. I know the test. There's a. No, that's all Jesus. <laughs> Do you see that name? It's quite cool, isn't it, Peter Kids? <laughs> That's a cool name. It does a significant improvement over AMD. I agree. I agree. I agree, Paul Alex. Definitely. It does. It does. Yep. I mean, I had both. I tested both. And right now, what I can see is that Intel is a lot more powerful than AMD. You know, it's just. I tested both of them. So, you know, I can tell. I can give you my opinion on it. And, you know, you can even overclock it even more, you know, without burning or something like this. AMD, Ryzen, you can't, you, you can overclock it up to 4.2 without any troubles. Otherwise, more than that, you need a, a great water cooling or something like this. But right now, I did overclock it to 4.8 gigs. See the difference? And I get a lot more better performance there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Intel definitely does a job. I uh, will just be waiting for our DNA, which is going to be way better than Intel. Oh, yeah, yeah, this new thing that's coming out. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, that can be pretty good as well. But right now, you know, I'll stick with Intel. This one is pretty good. Okay, guys, as you can see, uh, there is some green. Can you see it, though? Yeah, you can. Uh, there's everything you see. You have a little uh, progress bar between, uh, below the drink, the cup, the... Uh, the um, the knife and the fork the uh, and the camera so these are actually uh, that people are getting served hot and cold drinks they're actually being served food oh there we go drinks now that they're, they're done with drinks and actually watching a movie on the on the uh, on the movie screens that are they're right in front of them uh, whoa 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 what is this 
Expulistic, what is this, guys? What on earth is this? Turbulence? Shaking? No, 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 chill. I have the thing on active sky. This goes off because I've got the thing on active sky. What specific motherboard did you get and from what brand? I got the Strix Z390. I heard it was G's a really good one. Put ribs down with Chem to Oh! No, no, that's not this at all, the over G. Uh, sne you've got something sneezing, guys, against COVID-19. Look at this. XP Realistic V2. That is quite amazing, though. I can't believe they actually did something like this. Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but yeah. Okay. Et l'aviateur, bienvenue à toi. Merci de passer. Ça fait plaisir de te voir sur la chaîne. Bienvenue à toi, l'aviateur. Uh, cat? No, this is something to do with the, uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, there we go! No, that, that uh, yeah, that was the clear air turbulence. That exactly what we got, guys. We have no clouds and no wind, so that's probably what, yeah. That's it, guys. That was the, the, uh, the CAT, the clear air turbulence. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, that's what we got, the, uh, that's why we got this stupid sudden turbulence thing there. Uh, the whole population of oh my god and Captain Rye, welcome aboard. The <laughs> that is great. The whole population of China. Oh my god, how many subs do I have now, guys? Can you check my sub count? I must be at a billion subs there. <laughs> and Captain Rye, welcome aboard, man. Captain Rye, thanks so so much for joining, man. I hope you're doing well, man. And uh. There we go. We are actually not that far. If we actually take a look at it, we're not actually not that far away from the top of the sand. It's it won't be that far. Like it should be. We should be arriving in like 45 minutes on our top of the sand and landing in like one hour, something like this. And dinosaur Jesus, welcome aboard. Jeez, guys, you want to get me to uh, 400 subs quickly so we can do this intense flight? Uh, guys, I'm telling you, you're not ready. You're not ready for this, guys. Uh, the flight we'll be doing this weekend for our 400 sub special. Uh, congratulations on 400 sub. Thanks so, so much, Eric, on the YouTube, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, again, that is amazing. I'm from China. No way. You know, I weirdly thought you were from Russia. That is weird. I mean, your name, like, your... your, your <laughs> Your name and your profile picture, it doesn't precise at all that you're from China, yeah, so thanks for telling me that the whole population of China for precising that you were from China, that is, you know, very helpful. <laughs> oh yeah, Asus motherboards are really good as well, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't lie, your specs are making me jealous and I did, and did you sell your Ryzen 7 3700X? Okay guys, so basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, explain to you what, basically what really happened, because I got that for free, guys, but... You know, it's I didn't just get it like this for free. What happened is that first of all, uh, bienvenue à toi, uh, Francky. Ça fait plaisir de te revoir. Bienvenue à bord. <laughs> Comment vas-tu? All right, guys. So basically, what happened is that six months ago, when I bought the PC, uh, I came into the shop and I didn't especially know a lot about Intel and AMD and stuff like this, you know, and um, and specs. So I asked them, I would like a PC that can run x 11. That's the only game I'm going for. You see, it's x 11. And uh, I said I would like, you know, to go with an RTX 2070 Super. I had done my choice a little bit earlier this day. Uh, and I said an Intel 7. And the guy said that as if it was completely normal. Oh, no, 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 not an Intel 7. For x 11, it's definitely an AMD Ryzen that you need. And he's, you know, he seemed so, you know, sure about what he was saying. So I listened to him. And... I think I got bottlenecked because uh, the RTX 2070 Super is too much overpowered for uh, the AMD Ryzen 7 that I had and, for, and as well it's not the same brand and it causes a lot of incompatibility of the two, uh, the two spec there so that yeah that was quite weird and so I came back six months later I mean that was three weeks ago uh, where I couldn't play because I was getting 30 FPS to 20 to 30 I couldn't get more than that when I was above the sea guys above the sea nothing absolutely nothing above the Atlantic I was getting 45 FPS well now guys I did some tests and above the Atlantic I am getting 80 FPS so see the difference 
Um, and so basically I came back and I said, well, you were the one who told me to buy MD. Now my CP is getting bottleneck and stuff like this. And after one or and two weeks of, geez, I had to to harass them to, to change it to me, guys, because they, they, they kept lying and doing stuff, you know, and saying stuff, promising stuff, and don't and not doing the stuff at the end. So finally, they exchanged my CPU. They sold it. They sold my CPU. Uh, and they exchanged it with an i7 on another machine, another computer, and someone bought the computer, so they got the money, and with that money, that bought me, I mean, they didn't buy me, but, like, you know, they, they paid uh, the i7 uh, 9700K and the motherboard. I just had to pay for the water cooling that was 123 bucks, but that's completely acceptable for what they did, because, they, you know, they were, apparently, uh, it, they weren't, they didn't have to do this. And they could have said no, but they did it. So I mean, at, at some point, uh, I thank them so much because now I'm getting wow, amazing performances, absolutely amazing, amazing performances. And get more RAM if you're gonna have an RTX. Yep, absolutely. I'm I'm uh, going to for 32 gigs pretty shortly, man. I'm gonna buy two bo two more uh, two more. Yep, RAM. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, the RAM is uh, is mandatory as well. Yeah, I need this this RAM. 32 gigs apparently uh, improves the performance so well as well. 32 gigs is absolutely amazing, and it changes a lot of things, and it improves FPS as well. The the RAM, you see, not only CPU and stuff like this, even the RAM. So yeah, I'll probably uh, I'll probably go for 24 gigs at first. And then, you know, I'll, I'll just buy it step by step. I can't imagine what MS-22 is going to look like your specs are making me too jack. Yeah, I know, man, but like, jeez, man. I mean, I got it for free, but I got really lucky, though. I got really lucky, because, you know, they, they didn't have to do this. But, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was really fair, because they were the one who told me uh, to, to take AMD. And I didn't know anything about it, so, you know, they, they used me a little bit for this. So, uh, that, that's why, basically. And they, they honestly did the right thing uh, by changing uh, the thing, so, uh, you know, thank, thanks so much to them. That was very cool, very, very cool. Alright, so, uh, if we check the weather at Stockholm, Arlanda, it says that the winds are 28015, so that will be in favour of runway 19 right, which we were actually planning to land at first. So, uh, perfect, perfect. One nine right for landing. Uh, was that planned on the thing? Yep. One nine right. Uh, we have a lot of ATC again in Stockholm. We have the approach, the tower, and the center that we're currently connected on. On one one eight decimal four. And, uh, what we can do is start planning our approach procedure. That will be the, uh, guys, I need to check the VOR names because there are a lot of things there. Why is it shaking again like this? Uh, okay, give me two seconds, guys. Just go on XP realistic quickly. The XP realistic control panel, the CAT. I'll just put that to disabled because I'm pretty sure it's this. There we go. Uh, and I need to buy a second. Uh, a second monitor as well, guys, to stream. Uh, there you go. So one nine a right. We're planning, yeah. One nine a right. Uh, it says thirty five on the tablet, but I'm getting forty on my other FPS counter. So it stutters a little bit between thirty and forty on the tablet. There. Uh, so I've got a feeling that it's, th it's forty. Uh, the arrival. Not what am I doing? I need to concentrate. Arrival, guys. Uh, the HMR, uh, and it's going to be the HMR. Five, uh, 3 November HMR 3 November The Hammer, okay, Hammer 3 November that, That's That's how they call it Are you going to upgrade to the RTX 3070 Ti when it comes out or later? Uh, later man, because the 2070 Super Does the job man, it definitely does the job I don't have to do this at all man It definitely does the job Uh yeah, it's going to be the Hammer 3 November. And what is that waypoint? The, uh, okay, OSCAR. And OSK, OSK, is that OSCAR as well? 
I need to check on the Navigraph just quickly. I was always there. Thanks so much, Gerald. And your wallet. Welcome aboard your wallet, man. Hope you're doing well as well, sir. Thanks so much for joining. And uh, I need to check on the charts Navigraph that, uh, what the OSK waypoint is, because I'm not sure about it. It probably is OSK here, but I already have this A point. So uh, just give me a quick check there. I'll just load it on Simbrief pretty quickly. From Simbrief, uh, there we go, Trumso. And OSK, just check the VORs quickly. Yeah, OSK is the. Uh, no. Oh my god! Onskoldsvik! Guys, you don't believe me, I'm gonna spell it for you. I'm, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna copy and paste this. That will be literally the name of the waypoint we'll be going through. The o the OKS that you see right there. No, not there. What am I doing? There. OSK, sorry. That's actually the name of the of the VR, and it's an it's a is it a VR or NDB? It's a VR. It's a VR DME. On Skodsvik, Jesus. Yeah, China is the best country in the world. No doubt on this. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, it's your last flight, by the. Oh, coming straight into us there. Whoa, man. Looking super sexy, super super sexy. And music is back, guys. I think we can put the music back there. Thirty seconds delay, uh, probably. Yeah, there's. I know there are some delays sometimes on my streams. That that's that's possible. Might be some delays sometimes. Don't blame me for this, please. <laughs> I try my best to answer as quick as I can sometimes. But yeah, sometimes there's some delays there. Sorry guys, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know expiation, but yeah, what, what I should do is probably uh, buy another monitor to stream. Yeah, it should have only X Plane open on this PC, guys, because when I have X Plane only open, right now it should be getting uh, 45 FPS at least. Uh, but yeah, that that's the only problem, that's the only issue is I don't have a second monitor to, to stream. You know, uh, so I have Streamlabs, Fly Live, Spotify. Self-loading cargo, Active Sky, X Plane, Swift, and Microsoft Edge open on my PC. Guys, it's killing our frames, but it's still smooth for some reason. Uh, but there you go. Yeah, it did. It, it did. It did as well. The whole population of China. I know this is flight surgeon. I know it is. You know, no doubt about this. Alright, guys, we'll plan our arrival there quickly. Uh, so it's going to be the, we said, the Hammer 3 November arrival. Hammer 2 November for yeah, ILS-19, right? Uh, not zero the Orlando transition zero. for the moment. But they will tell us anyway what, what, what to take, which one to take. There we go. If we have to take any transition. But it sh is it going to be an evening landing, a night landing, I mean? Yeah, I think it will be. It's getting pretty dark under yeah under the clouds it's getting pretty dark there, but you know it, sh it should be cool. Even if it's night landing, sometimes it's even more beautiful like this. <laughs> I've got the sun over there, guys. Wow. Yeah, I think the sunset's absolutely beautiful there. That is very good. It looks pretty sick, guys, but I can't wait to see our FPS when we come into Stockholm or Lander. Because I kn before, during this flight, because I did the flight before, right now I was getting 45 FPS, between 45 and 50. No, sorry, between 35 and 50. But when we landed in Orlando in Stockholm, I had 60 to 70 FPS. Like a solid 60 to 70. But you know, again, with all these apps open, like Spotify, Streamlabs, Flylight, Self Loading Cargo, Active Sky, X Plane, Microsoft Edge, and Swift, it's really hard, you know, to keep solid frames down that. And uh, we get stuttering frames, even though the game is very smooth. Uh, the frames are stuttering, but it doesn't do 
but we, I can't see the impact on the thing. I mean, it, the game doesn't stutter, it's only the frame does. That's weird. You see, it, it gives some wrong frames. Because right now, guys, I can feel the game is super, super smooth when we change wings, guys. Look, look how smooth that is. That, that's at least, you know, 35 or 40. And it says, well, it says 35, yeah. You see, we're just, we're just done it. But like, 35 FPS is perfect. I, the whole puppy. <laughs> I believe you, okay. If you say so. Okay, okay. Uh, so our ground speed is yeah, that that is very cool as we're getting a uh, a very a, a tailwind. But like when I say tailwind, there's like the wing is literally kicking our ass now. Look how straight is this arrow? It can't be more straight than that. It can't be straighter than that. Look at this, guys. So it yeah, it has to be a tailwind. This uh, 13 knots. So. Uh, Wins in our favor, that's great. And when did they say we're about to start the descent? It said at 35. So in 30 minutes, guys, we should be descending in 30 minutes. Uh, 233 nautical miles remaining. So that's very cool. And even the arrival, guys, will be a straight line for 19 right. We're not going to have to make any turns if it's 19 right, uh, the active runway. I believe it is for landing. It should be. Uh, but there you go. Uh, if we can do some little check there on the ECAS, we can check the engine. So the N2 vibration, fuel follow the oil pressure, oil temperature, everything is, you see, pretty stable and uh, equal as well. Just the N1 vibration, 1.4, 1.5, you know, this is not a big difference at all. You know, it's only one that's, you know, absolutely perfect. And the system quickly there. These are the flight control checklists. Just check the uh, hydraulic quantity. So 82, 83, so it's perfect. And the hydraulic pressure. Uh, 2880, 2890. Okay, that, that, that is perfect. That is perfect, perfect. Just enough. Oh my god, flight surgeon. Jesus Christ, man. What on earth? There we go. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to get, guys. We'll get back on our engines there. Uh, we can, yeah, we can. Act, that was stupid because we can actually go ahead and check the thing right there as well. So see, vibration, everything. That was on this screen before. All right. Well. The lights are absolutely beautiful. It looks like it is actually beautiful there. If we do the 1080p thing. Wait, I'm going to just pop up on my channel quickly. Just to look at my stream from the thing. And see how it looks like. On 1080p. Does it look great? Just doing a quick check of the graphics right there. Oh dear, it looks pretty fab though. It looks pretty cool. Like the lights are beautiful. The lights are absolutely beautiful. One hour to go, it said, for my webcam thing. Oh, rip. I didn't see that. It says, guys, we have 44 minutes remaining before arrival. So that is very good. So we should be arriving on time, guys. Uh, our goal is to arrive before uh, 10 p.m. Or if you prefer, before 2000 Zulu. That could, that's pretty cool. We do. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, bro. And what does it say there? This yellow thing? It says fuel usage restriction required. Okay. Did you miss me? Absolutely, I did. <laughs> of course. And nav1, nav2. Uh, the ILS frequency, I believe, is going to be 110.7. I'm not sure about that, but if we look at runway 19. Uh, one nine right. See, how it suddenly goes down. It goes up. It goes down. You see, the frames are stuttery, but the, the game isn't stuttery at all. Yeah, one one zero point seven. We'll put down standby, guys. There you go. One one zero point seven. The active frequency was zero zero, but we don't really care about this. This is just the ILS frequency. 
So there you go. Um. Yep. Uh, are we in uh, the 320 range? There we go. 320 zoom range. So as you can see, when we'll be joining Cipri there, it will just be uh, a straight line there. And that'll be actually cool if we could go direct to Cipri, but wait now. We have ATC there, guys, so we're just gonna behave and follow our flight plan, of course. That's already pretty legit, that's cool. Uh, the course is actually gonna be 185 for arrival, so we can already plug it in right now, so that will be done. 185, uh, and we'll plug this in the other course as well, 185. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? 185, so that is done, we do not need to do this after, there we go. Fly by for Pelicans, you know what, because you're special to me, just for Pelicans. Jeez, that lag though, need to do it again there, it was lagging. There we go, it's more like it, without any lags, let's do one last one, cause, because of the lag. There you go, that's a smooth flyby that we love. There you go Pelicans. <laughs> the flybys are just beautiful. Especially when the aircraft's beautiful and when you can see these... The, it, it, yeah, it looks like they're pink clouds, but it's actually the reflection of the sun and that is beautifully done. And I believe this is the X-Vision uh, preset. It's the X-Vision that's doing this, so that's really good. Uh, Kringles, I don't even know if I'm going to pre-order that, uh, but if I do, it's I'm not taking this shit on Steam anymore. Steam man, never again. So many issues with this. I'll definitely go it for Microsoft. If I do it, yeah, that will be Microsoft. Oh, here comes a legend. Sahib, welcome aboard, man. Jeez, how are you doing, Sahib, man? Hope you're okay, man. Peter Kids is special, I feel valued. <laughs> Who said you weren't Peter Kids? <laughs> Welcome aboard, say it, man. Hope you're doing well, man. It's been a long time indeed. And do not forget, guys, to leave us a little like and try to reach 30 likes. That'll be uh, our next goal for, for the moment. 30 likes, that'll be super cool. I came late and I'm going for an appointment very soon as well. It's no problem, man. No worries at all, man. How long uh, to top of the send? Ghost Rider 115, 179 nautical miles. And if you'd like to this in minutes, uh, we have 27 minutes uh, remaining. 27, no, 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 not 27 minutes, 22 minutes, I apologize. 22 minutes until we descend, Ghost Rider. There you go. Yeah, no problem, see you, man. Great to see you, man. So there you go, uh, not a long time, an estimated time before arrival is 39 minutes, so that should be, yeah, that should be, uh, yeah, a bit like, a bit more than 10 minutes after the top of the descent, so yeah, the top, of the descent will last for like a bit more than 10 minutes until we land, as we're pretty high right there. Where's flight surgery? I can't see flight surgery. Okay, wait, you're saying hello to the flight surgeon. That is weird, because I cannot see it in chat. Uh... Wait, what? How can you say hello to flight surgeon? I can't see it. Oh, thanks so, so much, uh, Sahib. Thanks so, so much, man. Congrats on 400 subs. Thanks so, so much. Oh, you, were you talking to? Yeah, where's the flight surgeon? I think you were talking to the population of China. Is that who who you were referring to as flight surgeon? Because it's definitely him. We all know that. That is him. <laughs> definitely, definitely. If you're referring to him. 
All right. Isn't Ghost Rider the fly? Uh, no, not at all, man. <laughs> Ghost Rider's a real person. He's gonna get mad. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Hopefully he's not here. He didn't see that. <laughs> no, no, Ghost Rider's a real person. Hey, though. Know, I can tell that. <laughs> That's a rip. Sorry, Ghost Rider, man. Please excuse him. <laughs> Because I remember last time, yeah, Flight Surgeon did create an alternate account called Ghost Rider 105. He stole Ghost Rider 105 identity. As he did for the same thing for me, though. He stole my one way. Oh my days. Those graphics, jeez. Libyan! Libyan pilot! <laughs> my bro, my G, welcome aboard, man. I hope you're well, man. 400 subs, thank you so much, man. Welcome, welcome, Libyan. I hope you're well, man. I hope you are well and your family's doing well and everyone's doing well. How are you doing, my brother? Thanks so, so much for joining. We indeed reached 400 subs and we'll be doing a special stream uh, uh, this weekend, actually. That is not a flight surgeon. Et merci beaucoup à toi, Lucas. Oui, je, 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 je crois que je l'ai vu, mais merci énormément. <laughs> Excuse my stupidity. It's fine, it's fine, it's a hip. It's fine, it's fine. But yeah, this is explained. It is indeed, man. See this thing. But I will definitely... Uh, Ghost Rider, uh, I need to change this. I definitely... I forgot to change my specs. Uh, Ghost Rider, if you want to see my new specs, it's in the description of the video. But yeah. Yeah, but geez, guys, thanks so, so much for your support and bringing me to 400 subs. That means a lot. That's crazy. And that is X-Play indeed. You can see the improvement, the graphics, the cla You see, just you can just tell that there will, there's been an improvement there. So that's pretty decent. We're going down to Stockholm, guys. And we'll be doing the 400 special stream, plus we'll be releasing the premiere of my uh, Flight Simulator A320 there. And then we'll be going back to our normal schedule and uh, depart from Stockholm. Probably going down to Gothenburg and to Oslo and do our little last Scandinavian tour. It just means the boat engine view. Yeah, it, no it is. It is actually. It's it, it actually looks really thick, man. I agree with that. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. So we're still at cruise right now, guys. Uh, descending in a little while there. Yeah, the, we've got 35 minutes remaining before touchdown. Uh, we still do have ATC. Yeah, we have... Guys, that is cool. We have... Oh, no. Tower's gone, guys. We have the approach on. The approach is on at Stockholm, and we are connected to the center. Guys, it was a good day to stream as there's ATC everywhere in uh, Sweden. So maybe, I hope he's going to wait uh, for me to arrive and to land so we can catch ATC the approach uh, when we land. That should be amazing. Yeah, but that engine though. Wow, it looks slick. I know what you mean, Libyan. <laughs> it looks decent. Those lights though, that is just insane. Northern Lights, plus SFD Global and Author for XP, you know, this is just everything perfect. Whoa, that is called the weather update. I've got a black hole there as well. Yeah, that was a big weather update. Big, big weather update. That happens every 10 minutes where there's actually no weather change. And guys, I don't know, you might think this is absolutely disgusting because there is white, yellow and purple. But that is actually the sun reflecting, guys on the thing wow and it reflects on these clouds that's why it's so bright and these ones they're pink because they're not reflecting anymore on the sun wow man these this graphics yes i do have sfd uh, it's mandatory to have sfd global if you want to fly in scandinavia it does a difference i don't know if you check that departure out of uh, trump so if you want to check it out later but you see man there's a lot of di there's big difference you can notice it a nice landing today, of course, man. I didn't lose my skills. 
I suddenly didn't lose my skills. <laughs> we are doing a great landing today, guys. Okay. To welcome us back in the flight deck. There's a lot of clouds just now, just a few. Now they're actually gone now. Now there were a lot of clouds, now they're gone. That's the visibility that's pretty terrible, but you know, it's night. The visibility is pretty terrible, but you know, we don't really care about this, do we? We just look at these beautiful lights and that's it. We don't need a, a magical visibility. But yeah, that, that looks pretty amazing though, everything. A big performance improvement. Sorry, Mr. Wang Wei. <laughs> do you use XCSL? Yep, I do, Libyan, absolutely. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. I know the models are really good for XCSL. Very, very good. Uh, we will request the top of the descent, guys, in 10 minutes. 10 minutes before we start the descent. That should be coming in pretty shortly, to be fair. There we go. I'm glad that it's coming in shortly. So we, uh... That means we'll be arriving shortly as well and uh, get these uh, beautiful arrival into Stockholm. That should be quite amazing, that arrival. It's going to be night probably, I believe it is, yep. It's going to be night uh, when we're all at Stockholm. Can't believe I use Bluebell. <laughs> Bluebell's actually not that bad, you know, it does the job, but yeah, XCSL's better. But you know, for example, XCSL, they don't have A321, so I use Bluebell for the A321s uh, model. Because they don't have A321s. And I think same thing for the 787. No, 787, no. Hum, a hum, a hum. Moderated by Wang Wei. I didn't forget you, don't worry, man. I certainly didn't forget you, moderated by Wang Wei. Oh, it's getting dark in the cockpit there. I like this. That looks so legit. Like, if we do like a view like this. Look at this. Holy fuck. Wow. You don't even need reshade, like... Look at this! Yeah, you can use 2CSL, and I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, that, that was pretty annoying to do, but yeah, you can do it. I'll show you. Whoa. Guys, you don't need reshade, do you? No! <gasps> I almost stopped the stream accidentally, I was about to shit myself. Oh my god. Like stop the entire stream on YouTube. That would have been terrible. See, no need for reshade when you have something like this. Definitely no need. These are just some beautiful. I gotta start flying the 737, yeah definitely man, this aircraft's bomb man. In the future, yeah, 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 I'm gonna wait till I wrong way. Yep! But you know, you can just get some angle of view sometimes, they're absolutely, well, sexy, but sexy as hell. But who is moderated by one way though? I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know, because, bro, he's been this since a long time now. I still didn't figure out who that is. I thought it was Luke at first, but it's n I'm not sure it is. I mean, it, it can be. Okay, people, 81% of the people are satisfied. Uh, screw the other 29. No, the other 19, sorry, that are satisfied. Screw them. Uh, okay. We can maybe maybe do a last uh, drink. Yeah, we can maybe serve them some drinks a uh, last time before uh, before we descend. Crew very busy. Oh, the crew's complaining because they're very busy. Well, I don't know, man. It's your job, innit? Oh, sh I need to mute my phone when I do streams. This is not possible, guys. Bear with me two seconds, yeah. Just bear with me two seconds. Oh, wait, no, two seconds. Do you look to Mike arrival? Zero one left, Kalen, 60 chilling. 
Bloody hell. It's just spamming me on Instagram. Hell da. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound good at all, Peter Kids. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> you can't do it that way. This is horrible. And, uh, yeah. 36. Uh, yeah, we've got the. We, yeah, we don't need these two things. The VR and. Uh, VR1 and VR2, we don't really need this. So we'll just put this to the off position. Because we're not capturing it. We're not doing any VR stuff there, so that's this. Same thing over there. There we go. Perfect. We'll get back in our seat right now. There we go. And that wing flex as well. I mean, that we need to say that that aircraft is probably the best in the game because it's freeware as well, and that is amazing. But they worked with Lamina Research, and they did that. They made this aircraft freeware because there was already a uh, a seven three seven uh, by default an X plane, and that's how X flight, my brother. Welcome aboard, X flight, man. Glad to see you there, man. How are you doing? He made it, yeah. Thanks so much, x for joining our man, for tuning in. I hope you're well, my bro. And, uh... Wow. I just can't stop saying wow, because, I don't know. That's why I don't want to switch to MFS 2020. We do not need to. We're already having some some stuff on x that is crazy. Like, if you take some angle of view, for example, like this... It looks like, you know, a picture they were put to advertise the game. But, you know, they're actually, you know, say, telling the truth about it. Because you can see right now, there's some angle of view that are absolutely just beautiful. God damn it, it's hot there, guys. It's so hot in Paris, guys. Okay, bear with me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to get uh, a cup of water quickly, because right now it's... Jeez. I'll just actually fill up my bottle, so that will be easier. I don't need to get up every time I want to... I want to... I want some water. So, guys, bear with me two minutes. Guys, the face cam is coming soon, guys. As soon as I have enough money to buy a webcam there. Shit! No shuttle 377, yeah, go ahead. Cleared our land, uh, Hammer 5 Mike uh, arrival, uh, North Shuttle 377. What do you see? Was that for me? Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, guys, geez, that was not a good timing to leave there, the flight deck. Uh, so it's actually our lander for Mike, 5 Mike, uh, and 01. Where's 01 left? I'll just ask him to repeat quickly. Yeah, I think he said one left, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, I know face cam, you get more viewers. 
So there's an I'll land I'll land the uh, land the transition. Okay, zero one left. It's I'll land the. There we go. So we're cleared for it. So that means we can start our descent wherever we want. Uh, H M R. Oh no 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 no. Okay, let me check quickly, guys. And that is the okay. So zero one is active, guys. That is weird. Uh, interesting. Orlando. Mm, what on earth is that? Okay, we, that needs to get. Uh, that's what we should do, guys. Get. That's where it gets weird. Okay. We're cleared for the Orlando. The runway zero one. All shuttle three seven seven. When ready, descent flight level one hundred. Descent level one hundred when ready. No shuttle three seven seven. Okay, guys, here we go. We will be starting our descent shortly. There, uh, just quickly, guys. I'm just concerned about it. That do we need to go over the airport and the Orlando? That is weird. But okay. Hi right, guys, there we go. Uh, we're descending. We just started our, de our descent, and uh, there you go. I think pretty good. But just concerned about the arrival there. Yeah, I'm just concerned about the arrival because it's weird. It's just very weird. Uh, how? Why would you go above the airport and then? Get yeah, back. He will give us vector. I think. I think he will vector us. He he, he has to. Like that that makes no sense to go there, then then back there, then do this turn around or like weird thing there. No, that makes absolutely no thanks. No sense at all. He has to be vectoring us. Is there anything uh, that's telling us there when we? Uh, ILS lock zero one zero on left. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, that's zero on right. Uh, lost come. What is this? Okay, this is the Orlando, guys. This is where we should go. Do you have a honey come on? Funny. <laughs> Can't. Uh, so there is the Orlando thing, and there is the. Tabby. What we should be doing is go to Tabby, then go right there, and then turn like this. But for some reason, there's some weird thing there. We can't go through the Orlando waypoint. It's literally the airport. That makes no sense for me. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense. And what about the uh... No shit Oh god What about the other one there? Uh, the uh, RNP is on right No it's definitely not that one I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure at all, guys. I think we need to continue via Tebby and... Because that is very weird that we have to do this kind of procedure there. Uh, yeah, no, I think he has to vector us there. Because that makes absolutely no sense that we go, as you can see, above the thing. So we get after... Orlando. Yeah, 
we get this waypoint D1840 then SA and then we turn around and we come back what? yeah we are descending we are descending yep yeah. that's the most I do not understand a thing of that approach uh, Worcester Flyer, welcome aboard, man. How are you doing, sir? Welcome aboard, Worcester Flyer, man. You're coming just for the descent, as we are having a pretty fucked up approach there. I do not understand a thing about this approach. It's very weird. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Goldex, bienvenue. Yo, man, j'ai accès à la bêta de FSM depuis 20 minutes. Je ferai la mage, mais je suis... Ah, bah là, j'imagine, il sort dans... Dans 20 jours, en plus. Il sort dans 20 jours. Ah, du coup, là, je pense que... Tu vas aller, hein. mais j'espère que j'espère que tu es bien Goldex, ça fait longtemps, merci de passer, ça fait vraiment plaisir. Alright. Jesus Christ. Et là il nous est en train de nous faire une approche que alors là qui est n'importe quoi cette approche, je comprends rien. I do not understand a thing of that approach. Uh... See we've got this. It's just just turning around like this. So basically what we need to do according to the to the stupid thing there is that we keep going forward there then go to Orlando we go above the wrong way no not the wrong way oh my god now there we go the runway not the w <laughs> the runway and then we go straight there and then we go back there like that makes no sense we say ça c'est ça Luca ah bah j'imagine que Yeah that is pretty uh Wow, I have to get more information about that approach there, guys. Sunflower 100 told me to descend. Why does Goldex have a great check next in? Because this guy has more than 100k and he has a verified account. He's my friend, He has, a, but he's a, he's a famous YouTuber in France. Uh, he's a famous French YouTuber, he has a, one, more than 100k subs. And so he, he managed to verify his account. That's basically why. Uh, so I believe we'll just follow the procedure there. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, the Hammer Five Four Mike, Isla Zero One Left, and uh, Arlanda. <laughs> I'm very fine. The combo is not bad. <rire> T'inquiète, je l'ai dit, Goldex. <rire> non, mais c'est cool, ça fait plaisir, tu vois. Moi, ça me donne aussi un peu de succès quand même. Je me dis, voilà, mec, vérifier qu'il passe sur mon compte. Allez, euh. je suis trop. Mais j'ai bon, voilà, toi, tu penses le prendre ou pas euh, Je suis pas sûr. Il faudra que je vois. Il faudra que je vois, Goldex. Hein. Je vais regarder. D'abord, les avis des autres streamers qui l'auront pris avant moi. Moi, je compte attendre d'abord. On sait jamais. Alright. On va bientôt atterrir là. We will be surely landing. Coming into land. Uh, but if we do not understand the thing of that approach, it's going to be a bit hard there to do that landing. But I'm I'm surprised that zero 01 is the active runway. Um, six, six, Charlie, While the winds, one, two, six, six, winds are 28012, the active should be 19 a right, but apparently it's going to be... Oh, because that is weird. It's very weird. I'm going to have to make sure to tune in on uh, our lander 8 is. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm gonna tune in uh, the stock of Atis. Yeah, the uh, approach one is zero on left. Winds 280 degrees, one two knots, but I don't know why one way zero one is, isn't. Oh no, yeah, it's closer. Yeah, zero one, it's closer than one niner. Oh yeah, 280, yeah, the difference, yeah, okay, no, that, that was me. Okay, yeah, so zero one left, yeah, I fucked up my, my, cal my calculus there. I calculated wrong, sorry guys, zero one left, yeah. Uh, carriage will be one zero zero two to pass Castro in terms of visibility for 500 meters. It's broken at 500, oh guys, it's broken at 500. We're gonna have a lot of clouds that landing, guys, a lot of clouds. We're gonna do an ILS Cat 3. That's gonna be an interesting landing, though. And it's gonna be a night landing with clouds, oh god. That's not really, not really good. Could be better. I hope it's cat 3 but uh, yeah 
Hope we will get this plane on the ground safely. But you can already see there's a lot of, a lot of clouds there, guys. And broken at 500 feet, it's not really good. It's not good at all. So we'll hope we get this uh, bird safely down on the ground. We'll leave the autopilot to the last, last minute. We need to configure this. But if we don't even know the approach, that's going to be very, very tricky. Because the approach seems pretty much fucked up to me. So, uh... Hope that will be fine. And uh, we'll prepare the cabin though as well. There, uh, the drinks. There we go. 85 passengers are satisfied. Seabelt sign still off position. So, uh, yeah. Hope everything goes well. Now we just uh, uh, keep going without the sound 1,000 feet per minute to catch up with the uh, the glide. I mean the glide of the VNAV, the VNAV glide. Called the path actually, not the glide, the VNAV path. That's it. And uh, so next wave is going to be Cypri. Cypri. Let me say this. And then. That's how it gets tricky yeah, to go the there and then back. Apparently uh, we're cleared for the thing, well, yeah. Coming very weirdly, very weirdly. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna do this. Uh, as you can see, clouds, yep. Still some massive clouds there. Not sure if they're dangerous or not, but we'll put the weather radar. Just in case. Weather radar is on and there's nothing on the weather radar, so it doesn't look that bad. Honestly. If we go down there, no, nothing yet. Okay. And uh, then we've got the blue line for the go around path there, and we'll probably. It can happen, the go around can happen, guys, if I don't see the, uh, the runway in time. We can go around. I mean, we could go around. That's what we'll probably do if we don't feel safe, guys. You can always go around. You know that song. And that's actually, you know, it's a funny song, but it's actually true. If you do not feel safe about a landing or approach, guys, do not hesitate to go around. Um, just pulled FS20 Premium Deluxe VS Team. I tried to do all the way through my club, but fuck that. And the Kato app needed to be synced with like 10 billion things. I gave up Steam version for me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Crinkles, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, man. No problem. <laughs> fair enough, bro. I have no idea of what's going on for that approach, man. Once again, I'm... <laughs> I was speechless. What is that? We're having a broken sky, man. We are dead. I I'm, I'm screwed. That's a rip, Kringles, but you know, if you got it sorted, that's cool. I mean, if you. Yeah, Steam is not that bad, to be honest. You know. See the clouds, how low they are. That's gonna be. St it's been a long time, I haven't gone through. Oh no, it's actually not. Last time we landed in Helsinki. But guys, this time we're not getting. 12 knots, we're gonna have a bit of winds, guys, in landing. A bit of winds. 12 knots is not really cool. It's gonna be shaking a little bit. So, uh, and it's cloudy and it's night, so, you know, that adds a little pressure there. One two eight six two five. Where's this? Was that for me? I wasn't. Absolutely not. I believe that was for me. Was that for me? No, it wasn't. Okay. 
So 128625, that will be our uh, next... Uh, Stuck on 126650 for North Shore 377, have a grenade there. There you go. And, uh, stuck on control, good evening sir. North Shore 377 with you, pathing. Flight will 225 uh, inbound Hammer on the Hammer 4 mic arrival, our lander uh, for the RLS 01 left. I've got information, Mike, uh, for the one left uh, for uh, North Shore 377. Okay, we have information, Mike. We're about to land this bird, guys. Here we go. Oh shit, I missed his landing. I'm so sorry, right now I'm concentrating on my approach because, man, it's it's really hard, this approach. I don't know what's, man. I don't understand a thing about this approach. I watched the replay, definitely. Ah, oh, man, I didn't want to miss that. So sorry, XP Aviation, man. But just right now, I'm getting overwhelmed by a bit of everything there. I need to focus because, you know, I can't be unprofessional like this. I need to focus like this. To avoid using Steam. Yeah, man, Steam is pain. I sync my mail to Microsoft account, downloaded the app. The app needs to sync up with something. Does that mean? No. Yeah, because I'm already at 260 knots. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, man. Steam is a pain, you know. I understand this, man. I definitely understand this. Nope, was not very nice at all, very windy. Eh ben, il y avait 12 nœuds exactement comme on va voir tout à l'heure. We'll be having 12 knots of wind. So, 0 1 left, we need to change the frequency, guys, because we I just realized that we planned the other thing there. Uh, 10935. 10935 for the localizer frequency. There we go, 10935 on standby, we can even put it on active frequency at this point, there we go, that is checked for the ILS. Channel 7351, Jamie 7 left, Cleveland, wind is 280 degrees, 1 2 knots. Yeah, that, that, 1 2 knots for the winds, 280 at 1 2, you know. It could be worse, but it could be better, as it's going to be a very cloudy landing. So, uh, yeah, we're expecting a cloudy landing there, guys. Sorry, that was just... Once to look, how, how are they doing uh, for this approach, Yada Screech, KLM 66 Charlie, turn left heading 3. Zero, zero, to four, yeah, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, that, that's what we should do. Look. I, I think that from... Uh, <coughs> from TB, yeah, from, from Tebby, we need to proceed direct to FI01 left. Or to... Not to this, to... Yeah. To FI01 left. Or SA01. I believe so. I don't want to screw everything there, so. It's gonna be 2107 to left heading 345 to 7580. Hmm. Turn left heading 345. That is interesting. No, it raised. Right. Erase, uh, oh guys, I'm... I don't know right now what to think for that approach. Uh, well I think guys, yeah, we have to do this. Yeah, it doesn't seem right guys, it doesn't seem right at all.
Yeah, that, that, that's how it should go, yeah, it's via this way. Yeah, okay, guys, I think we got it. We got the approach, there we go. We got the approach procedure. And we're waiting for our top of descent to fly level 150 right there. So we can get down to 10,000 feet. Fly level 100, actually. Fly heading 185 for North Shuttle uh, 377. I'm uh, flying 185. Okay, let's go back with AGG guys. Okay, he's gonna clear us directly there. There we go. Uh, AC is gonna be so cool. Have you? Ch yeah, yeah, yeah. ATC is cool, man. He's giving some vectors. Have you checked out the VA Mr. Next Gen? Or are you in and are you interested? I've never been interested in 2VA, man. I signed up for Air France VA. I passed the test, but I refused because I don't know. I'm not that interested about VAs, man. Uh, I will think that I might. I know this is cool, and I like cool things, so. You know what, Peter Kins, you might make me change my mind. I have to check this. I have to think about it. But you know what? You know, why not? Why not? Why not? So, are we still at 150? Because we need to descend, we need to descend right now, you know. VNAV. There we go. Jesus, there you go, focus on the landing. Okay, broken at 500, guys. Take that in mind, though. So that can be, we can't see anything there. <laughs> We cannot see a thing. There's lots of Scandinavians there. Okay. Yeah, that that was obvious that he was gonna vector us because look, he's gonna make us go straight and then do a 180 turn to I believe 360, heading 360, the heading of the runway, and we'll be landing. Can I have some of your friends join too? Yeah, man, definitely. You know, what? I'll actually think about it, man. I'll definitely think about it, because, you know, I was thinking, why not? Okay, guys, the ILS DME appeared, we're DME 22.3. Non, j'ai pas du tout raté, raté mon approche, pas du tout. C'est que l'approche, elle est pas possible à faire, du coup, il me donne des vecteurs, en fait. Parce que là, les, les conditions météorologiques sont trop dégueulasses, quoi. There we go. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. We'll be heading right there and then turning to Launch capture the LS. 7, 7. When ready, descend flight level 70 for North Shuttle uh, 377. Alright, I uh, think we can descend now further, guys, uh, by reactivating the VNAV. There we go. We are descending, guys. Further to 10,000 feet. Isham 1, welcome back, bro. Uh, you're coming in just for landing there, we're about to land into uh, the cloudy Stockholm airport. Can be interesting there. Zero, uh, did you say zero eight zero degrees? I heard zero eight. Let me check the meter. No, no, no. Two eight zero at one two knots. Yeah, two eight zero degrees one two knots. That's uh, what he's talking about. Oh no. So now we're just continuing heading one eight five at two hundred sixty knots. That should be. Uh, you didn't tell me to reduce speed or anything like this, so we're good. Uh, we'll make sure on self-loaded cargo, okay, 
Yeah, passengers will be seated. Stockholm is the capital city of a uh, beautiful country, Sweden. That is in Sweden, Isham. Oh, Treddy, welcome aboard, man. You're coming in just in time, man. Just in time. See, that's all what the aircraft did. See, that they went up there and did a 180 turn like this. Welcome, welcome, Treddy. Hope you're well, man. Welcome aboard. Reduce speed to 230 knots for North Shuttle 377. Uh, well, screw the VNAV then. Two three zero knots. We'll reduce the speed there and uh, got a vertical speed. And put 800. 800 should be perfect. Uh, 800 feet per minute. Can we do this? Oh, actually, guys, reduce uh, 500 feet per minute as we're getting high on the VNAV there. There we go. Uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave 700 so you know it's equal, it's better. Oh, we're right on time to send it. Yeah, my next deviation, man, I got so overwhelmed on the approach, man. Uh, the approach procedure was, you know, so wrong for me. It sounded so wrong, but he actually gave me vectors, and I was really busy trying to find out a way, uh, as it is very cloudy as well. It's broken at 500 feet. So that is going to be interesting, guys. <laughs> but welcome back, my next deviation. I'll make sure to, to watch the replay. Yeah, thanks so, so much, guys. Never seen you before, good to see you. You must be new here. Oh god. It says we're too high for some reason, but we'll just keep descending. Screw this. We can't be too high. Why do you why do you think that you're flying the three thirty from outside? Does that look like it doesn't really look like the 330. I mean, the nose is very sharp, like the 330, but you know, it's. it's Continue the sound altitude 4000 feet with a QNH of 1002 North Shuttle 377. Alright, guys, QNH 1002. Checked. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's a sharp nose as well, but, I mean, you can tell that, right? that, that that's a 737. <laughs> 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 oh, the thumbnail. Does it look like a 330? It didn't, didn't really see. didn't pay attention. It actually does look like a sharp nose of a 330. You're not that, you're not that wrong, to be fair, yeah? <laughs> kind of agree with you. Okay guys, T30 knots and here we go, the fasten seatbelt signs will come to the on position right now. Uh, we do not have diamonds yet. Uh, oh wait, is that the last come? No, that's the 19 right guys, we're landing on 19 left, uh, 01 left, what am I doing? It's 109.9, .9. what am I doing? Oh my god. What am I doing? There you go. 109.90 so, 2500 will be the go around altitude, the missed approach altitude, because that, you know, we can probably go around. Et Arobaz, bienvenue à bord, bienvenue à bord Gab, t'arrives juste pour l'atterrissage, et il se bat à lâcher un tout petit like, ça ferait plaisir, j'espère que tu vas bien. Well, yeah, a go around is highly possible there. Yeah, the winglets give it away. I mean, the sh yeah. Oh, this is the sharklets. Winglets are what you found in A320 and A319s, and sharklets are 737, big thing. Then. All right, guys, fasten seatbelt sign is back to the on position there. Make sure it's fastened there. No. Wrong side, there we go. Self-loading cargo is managing the thing. Uh, Nine thousand feet remaining. Northernet today is seven seven. Turn right heading two seven zero. Turn right heading two seven zero for North Shuttle three seven seven. Nope, 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 nope. Two seven zero for me. There we go. <laughs> Bonjour, Captain. <laughs> well, that's already good. I mean, you know, some people don't even know some anything of French, so you know. 
the fact that you know it's pretty good. Alright guys, wing lights coming on. Continue to send to 2,500 feet for North Shuttle 377. Oh, better, better descend quickly there. We better descend quickly though. Okay, speed, uh, we'll extend the speed brakes quickly there. So we can descend pretty quickly there. Uh, landing lights coming on, guys. Uh, we'll put the anti ice just in case. Anti ice on just in case. Auto brakes go to number one position. It's a long one way, long wrong way there. It is indeed. Uh, it is indeed. Uh, Captain Kringles. Okay, we need to reduce speed right there. Two one zero knots. We'll get flaps one. Flaps on, so you know we're good at least. Yeah, we'll get flaps one out, so speed will reduce there a little bit. We've got spoilers out, speed brakes up. Sorry, as they're a bit high there. I've got the delocalizer diamond there. Yeah, I've got the lights on. The lights on. I mean the cockpit lights. We're good for the cockpit lights. I'll put a bit of dim light up there. Yeah, you're right. Like some lights right there. There we go. Looks better like this, isn't it? Three four zero and clear the ILS approach. You one left. Ten or three seven seven. Go. Hi guys. Holy. Thank God the anti ice are on there. All right, guys. Let's make sure to arm the speed brakes. Uh, slowly. There we go. Speed brakes. Uh, speed brakes armed. Flaps two out. Uh, guys, final speed. Temperature above 10 degrees, I don't care. Flaps, uh, we'll be landing flaps 30 plus 5 wind correction, so 153 knots will be our final speed. Uh, oh shit! Yep, yep, I fucked up, guys. The course is 005. Yep. I forgot to change the course, guys. Oh, that is not cool what I did. Completely forgot to do this. Course for zero on left is yeah zero zero five. We captured the log, guys. Runway turn off coming on. We'll go one six zero one seven zero actually flaps five. We are established on the localizer. We'll get just our wipers just in case we've got the runway in sight. Now oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Well, good guys. No worries. No problems. Flaps will get position 10, 1, 6, 0 knots producing. Mr. Push altitude is set to 2,500 feet. We've got flaps 15. Gears coming down. And guys, I'll just put it down for this one, geez. 25 Okay, no rain. We will put the slow wipers, I believe. Right now. Okay. We'll just maintain 2500 there. There we go. 160 knots. Uh get your landing rates in if you want, guys. Uh oh, guys, one way disappeared. Crap. 
Uh, minimum guys, shit. Oh, crap. Do we see the minimum speed? Yeah, ILS, we'll put, yeah, 200 for the minimums, guys. Yeah, it's 200, the minimums. We'll put that right there. Should have put it before, but there we go. Runway in sight. And we'll put our final speed in, guys. So we don't need to do this. Flaps full. 153 knots. And guys, enjoy the landing into Stockholm. And I will have to switch to. Is that tower on? No, tower's on, is it? No, tower's not on. And one way is there. Okay, there we go, guys. Glide slope. Green check. Winds copy, zero on left, clear land uh, for North Shuttle 377. I will climb runway heading, yeah. So I will climb to. Does it say runway heading or not? For the Mr. Pro Child, should have checked this before. To 600 feet, pass. Okay, two. Three, two, eight. Alright, guys, uh, broken up 500, just keep it uh, like this for the moment. We'll land good or bad. Isham one, I have no clue, man. <laughs> I have no clue. Probably, you know, you know, that you can't, you can't, you can't predict that. <laughs> I mean, you can't, but right now. I'm not sure about it. I think clouds, there we go, we're good with the clouds there. We've got the airport inside us, that's, that's the best thing for the moment. I failed in the flag thing. <laughs> Alright guys, you know what? Uh, should we do it or not? We're gonna have clouds. I'm just waiting until one thousand. Nah, I think guys, we're good for this. Yeah, two, yeah, winds are, yeah, two, seven, zero, one, two, two, eight, zero, one, two, yeah. We're having a bad crosswind, guys, we're gonna have to crab that. Not a bad crosswind, but, you know, we're having a crosswind, that's the thing. So, guys, here we go. My aircraft. My throttles. Okay. Shit. Okay, cabin crew. Yeah, seats for landing. Yeah, okay, you got it. I did. I did. I forgot to 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 warn them to take the seat for landing. But there you go. Cabin crew, take your seats for landing now, immediately. Just leave the wipers in case. Continue or go around. I just continue. All right. Uh, speed breaks up. Reverse as normal. Decelerating. Checked. Sixty knots reverses off manual break in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stockholm. And spoilers is on guys, welcome, welcome to Stockholm. Uh, North Shuttle 3 we vacated the runway. North Shuttle 3 
Seven, 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 seven,
the replay we've been waiting for finally guys what's going on with the frames there now it's good geez the wind we had though that was heavy uh we're gonna get a, a good view of this yeah finally okay there we go friends having a good view for this finally okay yeah we didn't kill anyone tonight well that was a, a great a great one actually for this uh for the welcome back landing <laughs> the first landing after three weeks guys we have done it no actually i'm lying to you i, I, I did the test flight uh, today and i landed as well i got a minus 181 a bit better but the conditions the weather conditions were better well guys Here he comes. Yeah, you can see the wind pushing us, and I'm struggling to keep it left and have to get back on center line. I think that was well handled. That crosswind. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that stream, my friends. And I will see you this weekend for a Premiere NA400 subs special flight, guys. Uh, so I can't wait to see you there, guys. You'll see it's a surprise. It's going to be something intense, I'm telling you. Uh, okay, guys, so I'll just leave you with these beautiful replays, views. And I'll check on you all next week. Not next week, this weekend, again, what I said. And have a great evening and a great afternoon, guys. See you later. Et bienvenue à toi Nova, maintenant je vous, je vous dis au revoir du coup, <rire> t'as un peu trop tard mais c'est pas de problème, bienvenue à toi Nova, euh Nova, parce qu'il y a un Nova avant, Nova j'espère que ça va bien, allez à plus, see you guys. Thank you.